Raging Cajuns baseball usually lays their hat on defense, so you would have to think losing a game 4-2 in which all four runs were unearned is the exception, not the rule. What actually has been a consistent problem so far is timely hitting and relief pitching. UL will need both if they had a chance to win the series over Maryland. Only in Louisiana could you find a parade right outside a baseball game. Fun times at the Children's Parade this afternoon. This game, one of the doubleheader, we start in the second. Two on for Sebastian Toro. He delivers some laissez le bon ton roulé. The single to left scores Oren Veillon and Todd Lott. UL up two to nothing. TCU transfer Daniel Horton getting the start on the bump. He went six and two thirds with five strikeouts, including this one in the third. He was able to keep it at two nothing until the top of the six with the runner on first. Chris Aline powers a shot to the round to the wall. Tommy Gardner is going to round his way around second and around third and then make his way on to home. A squeeze play would end up tying it at two and this game would take 14 innings to complete with UL pulling it out 4-3. Jonathan Windham reaching on a fielding arrow which scored Daniel LaHare for the winning run. This gives the Cajuns their second win of the year, but more importantly, it set them up with a chance to take their first series of the season in Game 3. The Fair providing a beautiful background while the rubber match was underway in Russo tonight. Top of the fourth, no score, but Austin Perrin is faced with bases loaded, but shortstop Hayden Cantrell makes the clutch catch and throw to second for the inning-ending double play. Bottom of the frame, Hansa Monica at the plate trying to get something going on offense. He knocks a double to the wall to get into scoring position with one out, but the Cajuns couldn't get that run in. Or Veillon is going to pop it up in foul territory to get them out of the inning with still no score. Now we go to the top of the fifth. Runners now on second and third for the Tur Terps. Cody Milton lays down the suicide squeeze to bring in a run and Maryland takes the lead at one to nothing. And then Maryland trying to go to the well again with the suicide squeeze, but this time Daniel LaHare with the beautiful diving catch from first to save the run. And again, UL coming back and winning in wild fashion two to one. The ending was almost deja vu, this time a throwing error by Maryland, allowing Hayden Cantrell to reach home for the victory in the ninth. UL takes their first series win, in large part because of relief pitching, as the bullpen allowed no runs in the two victories to date.